Playing Siamese Mahjong is a lot of fun. This is when you play two hands at one time with one opponent. One of the challenging parts of that game is scoring. In this video, we're going to practice. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. This is a recent Siamese Mahjong game that I played online. This is my rack. This is my opponent's rack. In the end game, I was shooting for double Mahjong, where you declare Mahjong for both hands at the same time so that you can get double value for both. In this case, I decided to declare the quint because I wanted to get that score. And you never know when your opponent is going to maybe declare Mahjong on a big hand, or maybe even double Mahjong. So I declared Mahjong for the quint. A couple of discards later, they declared Mahjong on this 25-point hand, but it's pure. So they have that hand, and then the next pick, I drew my winning tile, the five bam. So let me get a five bam right here. This was the winning tile right here. Four, four, four. Yep, okay. So that was the winning tile. So I have a staggered win here, that first, then this. They have one declared win, and then they have concealed tiles. They had a risky pair here that they probably didn't want to let go of because they, they, there weren't any out. So, score this. Since my opponent has a 25 point hand and this hand can use jokers, but they didn't use jokers, they get double value. So for 25 points doubled, that would be a 50 point hand. Here we have a 40 point hand and a 25 point hand, but this hand is double value because it's the second win. So that is a 50-point hand, which is a wash, 50-50. So in a in-person game, that player would pay me 40 points for the quint. Online, they got a 50-point credit, and we got a 90-point credit. There's a link in the video description below to where you can get the rules, which includes scoring. I highly recommend that you keep a copy of it on your mobile device so that when you play in person, you can score after you finish a game. If you play online, the game will score for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.